Hi, this is Walt from Wentz Racing and in this video we'll talk about Pumba the Blue Grasshopper. As you can see this grasshopper is completely blue and because the, um, the bumper reminded me of the tux of the warthog in The Lion King, uh, we baptized the car uh, Pumba. Pumba um, came to us as a spare parts car to a um, Tamiya black metallic uh, hornet and although it was a spare parts car that just came with it um, I immediately fell in love with the looks of this car um, although the uh, painting on the uh, on the body is a bit clumsy um, I do like this really uh, shiny blue and uh, silver um, design uh, of the car so um, it really has a place on its own and in our hearts it is a really stock vintage um, grasshopper um, in the most uh, stock version you can think of the only things that are new are the uh, front and the uh, rear tires which were completely worn out and um, we replaced them with some uh, newer ones. What we also like is the, um, the way they put some, uh, some screens on the, um, on the windows. That uh, really is a nice uh, detail and it's uh, really as uh, solid as the rest of the uh, body. As you can see it, the car still has the uh, friction uh, shocks at the rear that um, well they uh, don't <laughs> really really work well um, but we kept them uh, stuck as uh, was intended. And the car still has its 380 uh, motor, uh, which goes with this version of the Grasshopper 2. Let's have a look inside. I'll remove the body clips. which allows me to show you the uh, inside of the body. So as you can see, um, <laughs> these uh, mesh uh, things have been really um, glued in or cemented in really um, very, very, very solid. And look at the shine of this body. Isn't that great? I do love it. Enough on the body and let's look uh, inside. Inside you can see a typical um, vintage uh, grasshopper um, or hornet layout. The uh, original uh, MSC is uh, still mounted and working and the car is completely um, completely um, equipped with uh, ACOM's uh, electronics, the uh, receiver and back, and then two uh, servos, uh, ACOM's servos for the um, MSC and the uh, directions or the uh, left and right. Initially the um, oh yeah. initially the um, the battery holder was uh, was missing, so we uh, mounted a new part there um, also. So not only the wheels have been uh, updated and renewed, but also this um, battery door is not original. But further on, the car is completely original with the uh, golden screws everywhere. And um, I think it even is... No, it's not ball races. It uh, still has 
the uh, it still has the bushings um, at the uh, at the front as you can see nothing is broken on the uh, on the sash on the chassis nothing is broken on the chassis so it's uh, completely clean and in working order there's some uh, odd uh, thing here in the uh, <laughs> at the right side of the car as you can see um, someone drilled a hole here to um, mount the um, receiver cable with the antenna with a uh, tie strap which might weaken um, this uh, arm but um, till now it hasn't caused any problem um, yet. I'll um, give you a look on the uh, electronics here and the mechanical speed controller. Here we are and you can see the transmitter here. It's a uh, Acom's uh, Omnisport, Technisport uh, and it's still in working order. So this was our um, little Pumba. If you have any comments or uh, remarks please feel free to post them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon I hope. Bye.